When I'm trying to figure out what to give someone as a gift, I usually just think about that person's personality and then I try to match it up. So if you know anybody who is a baseball fan or a New Yorker or anybody who just appreciates greatness, um, I highly recommend Tom Seaver, a biography of one of the greatest pitchers ever to play the game. If you, uh, if you know any foodies, um, I highly recommend Dominique Ansel's Everyone Can Bake. Uh, Dominique Ansel is the creator of Cronut, which is not so easy to bake, but this book is full of his easiest recipes, and anybody who loves sweets is going to love this book. I Dissent is the story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, one of the great Supreme Court justices of our time, and an, and an inspiration and a role model to all of us. Is This Anything by Jerry Seinfeld is the perfect gift for anybody with a sense of humor. Um, this book is all of Jerry's favorite material that he has created over the last five decades. And it is hilarious from page to page. It's basically an autobiography in jokes. Anxious People is the number one bestseller by Frederick Bachman. People love this book. Um, in fact, People Magazine loved it and they called it a quirky, big-hearted novel. It's about family and hope and friendship, and it, it's for anybody who loves fiction that has a sense of humor and a lot of heart. The Black Kids is an extraordinary debut novel by Christina Hammonds Reed. It's set in Los Angeles in the 1980s. Uh, you can kind of hear George Michael playing in the background, and it's the story of a girl. Uh, she's, she's in her senior year of high school, it's a novel about race and class in a completely surprising way, and I think you'll really like it. It was an immediate bestseller when it came out. Blended by Sharon Draper is, um, is, is a modern classic, and it's the story of an 11-year-old girl. Um, she's growing up biracial, and she's dealing with her parents' divorce and finding out who she is. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Just celebrated his 50th anniversary. It is, of course, the classic novel by Judy Bloom. Magic Lessons is a new novel by the award-winning author Alice Hoffman, whose books make you believe things that are truly fantastic. Um, it's a gift she has, and if you remember her novel Practical Magic, this is a prequel that, that goes all the way back to the Salem Witch Trials, and it shows the origins of their magic. Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. This is a book for anybody who just wants to relax or, or lead a calmer life. Jay took everything that he learned from his three years as a monk and put them into this book. This next book I want to tell you about is, is our favorite picture book of the season. It's brand new and it says something that I think a lot of people have really come to believe recently. Um, and that is that unicorns are the worst um, the, the protagonist of this wonderful story is a goblin. Um, he has very good reasons for believing that unicorns are the worst, but you have to read the book to find out, and it's possible that the goblin is going to have a change of heart. Don't mean to give it away. Invisible Girl is a novel by Lisa Jewell, who is the author of the number one bestseller, Then She Was Gone. And once again, she's written a twisty thriller full of complex relationships uh, and, and great characterization. Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds is a graphic novel based on the author's number one bestseller. Jason Reynolds is one of the most acclaimed writers at work today. He's won just about every award. And this is the story of uh, a black kid dealing with, his, with the murder of his brother. Um, and it takes place within a single elevator ride. Let Us Dream by Pope Francis. He's writing it in response to the coronavirus pandemic. And this book shows us a way past all the difficulties and offers us a vision of how to transcend um, this very, very difficult time. It's truly inspirational. We also have an audio book by 60 Minutes uh, featuring all of Steve Croft's interviews with Barack Obama from the time he was a senator in Chicago all the way through his presidency. It's a remarkable portrait of President Obama's uh, life, his, his presidency, and the way he communicates and thinks and leads. So these are the books that I would love to give this season, but I, I want to add that I could have gone on and on. They asked me to keep this short, 
And if you are looking for more selections, go to the Simon & Schuster website. And also, uh, please uh, leave a comment um, below and, uh, and tell us what your recommendations are. Happy holidays.